The Nevada County Narrow Gauge Railroad Company was formed in March 1874 and accumulated enough funds from stock bought by local citizens to begin construction in February 1875. On May 20th, 1876, the first train to arrive in Nevada City from Colfax was greeted by a large crowd. As you enter the museum, this map shows the route from Colfax to Nevada City. Engine number five chugged along the line from 1899 to 1940 when it was sold to Hollywood and used in movies. Steam from the power cylinders goes through this chamber at the front of the boiler. As it does, it sucks hot fire and smoke from the firebox through the heat, ex heat exchanger tubes in the boiler, the honeycomb holes here. Steam and smoke belched up the smokestack with each chug of power, giving the familiar sights and sounds of the narrow gauge railroad. The fireman and engineer sat in this cab in the rear of the locomotive. These are just a few of the controls that had to be mastered by a narrow gauge railroad engineer. Notice that the center wheel of these three traction wheels has no flange. This is to allow the wheel to slide across the track without binding as the engine goes around tight turns on the winding Colfax to Nevada City route. Outside in back of the museum is the restoration building and shop. Rail cars to be restored are kept in this switchyard. The yard is in back of the museum proper, which is on the right in the background of this picture, and in front of the shop, which is behind the camera. You can see the volunteer restoration cool crew has its work cut out. Inside the shop is this little steam engine built from scratch entirely by volunteers. And here is its beautiful cab also built by the volunteers. A traction company ran streetcars between Grass Valley and Nevada City. The car here was built by volunteers to haul sightseers. The shop has a complete supply of tools, including a lathe, shaper, wood and metal band saws, and a welder. Cars that have been restored are on rails next to the museum. The rails and museum here have been built so that this area is like a railroad station. Back inside the museum building are also displays of objects contemporary with the narrow gauge railroad like this old pot-bellied stove, travel trunks, milk cans, and so on. Another interesting item is this Jeffrey steam car, designed and built in 1901 by Richard Edgar Jeffrey in Nevada City and claimed to be the first automobile in California. The engine, seen under the seat, is demonstrated with compressed air and runs very smoothly. This horse-drawn Surrey with a fringe on top is one of two other road vehicles of the time in the museum. Here is the other of the two, completed in July 2011 by volunteer Rolf Liesig. The wheels were purchased elsewhere for $500 each. Contributions are needed to pay for such additions to the museum. A model of the Chicago Park Narrow Gauge Railroad Station was built just a bit smaller than full scale. Here's an interesting model about the Kidder family. John Kidder was chief engineer when the railroad was built in 1875 and 6 and was also chosen to be president of the railroad. When he died, his wife Sarah took over as president from 1901 to 1913. This is a model of her home in Nevada City. The railroad tracks ran right in front of the house. 
One movie made with Old Engine number 5 is The Spoilers, starring John Wayne. In the final scene, she was crashed through a large timber barricade, derailed, and tipped on her side in a cloud of smoke and steam. Before leaving the museum, take a look at the shelves of interesting railroad objects, like this old steam whistle, like old steam whistles, and this wood model of engine number five, the star of the museum. Engine number five will be part of your memories of Nevada County and its great narrow gauge railroad.